be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. Try to make the best of what we had. Band it together and work to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it. But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. I killed him myself that. with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. 
The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your trans- Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please. Promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back here. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. They spend so much time on the surface. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own trouble. What would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah, well. It's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you to waste your time in our farming station, or out there looking for ghosts. If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. It's a shame on this well, sadly, it's their job. Job keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand me. No, it's what's kept us alive up to now. No. You think that's going to be I can't believe my eyes! You gave us a speak, brother! Artyom! I see you, all right. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. How you guys, you, huh? you just stop crowding him. Brother. Brother. Back up, Ah, uh, uh, Two hours, people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest but what good are these fantasies silent Artyom because it's dead we took our time time to replace our filters move it we don't need any extra radiation darling oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you learn the and Moscow time now. Rest of the world. To scare a demon to maybe order. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who?
I probably heard us coming down from the roof and decided to land with the beast. Let's pick up the base. Now the whole area knows we're here. A draw. We love each other as much as they hate us. I really don't limits to stalk any show. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae? Or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Ah! Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Don't mean here I like. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one you know, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by these here. Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. You people drove up there. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> 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 